I decided to come here to UC San Diego because of the first-rate scientists and scientific community that I knew existed here and I was just so excited to be a part of. I grew up in South Central Los Angeles, primarily in Compton and Watts, and uh, for me, growing up in that neighborhood was very, not only interesting and special, but it posed a lot of different challenges, and some of those challenges was uh, access to a quality education. Actually, what inspired me to be a scientist was, I would say, primarily examples uh, and mentors that I had along the way. What I liked was the hands-on aspect of biology and research and uh, the idea that I could create new knowledge, uh, perhaps something that would be you know, important and long-lasting that would actually uh, be beneficial to society was quite appealing to me. My lab is very interested in understanding the proteome. One of the big problems in neurogenic diseases is that proteins become dysfunctional. And when they become dysfunctional, they can aggregate or make the neurons sick. And if they make these neurons sick, they will actually cause a variety of the dysfunctions that you see in, the, in these diseases. And so some of the work that my lab is interested in is understanding how we can protect the, the proteome. Recently, Dean McGinnis has uh, initiated a new post for within the division, and that's uh, directorship for diversity and mentorship. And I am happy to say that I have taken that post here at UC San Diego and within the division. And so what I hope to do is uh, partner with other faculty and graduate students and postdocs within the division to think of new and innovative ways to increase our ability to help first generation and underserved populations gain access to biology, science, research. And so I think students need to see um, that people like themselves can go in and uh, have a career in science and research. Uh, they can be passionate about it and they can be successful. So I strive to not only mentor students um, from these diverse backgrounds, but also serve as an example for them.